Here we have submersible pumps. Now all three of these pumps have different functions, different performance and different uses. This pump, the D-Sub 1200, is ideal for high volume and high pressure requirements. Therefore use in your home, use for irrigation system, put inside a Jojo tank and submerging it into the water. This pump is ideal for a high volume, low pressure of clean water. Ideal for emptying out pools and ponds where the water is clean and there's not going to be any damage to the pump. The dirty water pump is ideal for larger particle size up to 32 millimeters and possibly 38 millimeters and ideal for flood areas and storm damage areas where you want to get that water out quickly. There's lots of contamination in that water and you want to obviously keep your pump protected. We're going to go through each pump separately and show you exactly what they do so that you can make the right choice of which pump you need for your application. I'm going to start off with the DE sub pump and it's explain exactly what it does. This is a 750 watt pump, so it's a high power, but it has a high volume of 96 liters a minute at a high pressure of 4.6 bars. So it's designed for high volume at high pressure. You could use it in deep areas like wells and pits. It has a gauze to stop any large particles getting inside and damaging the pump. And it's ideal also for a rainwater harvesting solution where you want high volume and high pressure. You can actually submerge this into your water tank and pump out accordingly to your irrigation system or to your home as a municipal backup supply. It has auto switching so it turns itself on and off as you open and close the tap. It picks up if it's going to run dry so it protects the pump so you're not going to damage the pump. It also has a maximum overload so if the pump is running for too long at high pressure it identifies that there's potentially a broken valve somewhere and it'll turn itself off and go into a reset function. It'll then use an electronic testing to see if it is still there and it'll keep checking. So it'll reset itself. It also has an anti-leak function. So if you've got a slow leaking toilet or a dripping tap, instead of the pump turning on and off all day and you're wasting that water, it'll pick up the frequency, analyze that, and it'll turn itself off and go into a safe mode until you can get that leak sorted out. How that works is if it activates seven times within two minutes, it goes into a safe mode and turns off. And then it'll retest the system to see if it's still applicable. This is a clean water pump. Now it's designed to pump a high volume at a low pressure. This pump pumps a volume of 125 liters a minute at a low pressure of 0.7 bar. Therefore it's not ideal for garden use on sprinklers and stuff like that. It's designed to move a lot of water out of an area quickly for you. With the auto switching, you can leave this pump permanently on and as the water level fills up in this pit or area, it'll automatically drain it out on its own. The nice thing about this pump is it can go down all the way to a three millimeter water level height. So it's practically taking everything out in that cavity and leaving it next close to dry. The pump is automatic on and off and it picks up if there's water there or not, so it has a run dry protection. This pump can also handle solids up to a maximum of six millimeters in diameter. It has an automatic function and it also has a manual function so you can override the on off auto switching and have it permanently on if you wanted to. This is the DDW pump. It's a dirty water pump. What does that mean? It's designed to pump dirty water with particle sizes up to 32 millimeters. It is a high volume of 140 liters a minute at 0.7 bar pressure. So again, it's there to remove a lot of water at a low pressure. It's ideal for flood zones, for slurry pits, and wherever there's a dirty amount of water which potentially could damage the pump, rather use a dirty water pump. The pump has auto switching, so it can be left permanently on, and as the float level changes, it'll turn itself on and off accordingly. You can adjust the height, you can leave it into manual mode, so I hold it up to the top here, and it's permanently on. It's a low power consumption of 210 watts. It also has a big brother pump, which is basically the DWP pump. This is a much higher power, it's 750 watts, and pumps up to 320 liters a minute at a pressure of 1.1 bar. It can also handle a particle size of 38 millimeters. Both of these pumps are designed for 24 hour constant use. So as the water is there, it can constantly pump. So if you are putting into a stream, to actually collect that water to pump up to another tank, you can have them permanently running. They're designed to take that load, and because they actually are in water, they're going to be keeping themselves a lot cooler. In summarizing these three pumps, this pump, the D-Sub 1200, is ideal for high volume and high pressure requirements. Therefore, use in your home, use for irrigation system, putting inside a Jojo tank and submerging it into 
the water. This pump is ideal for a high volume, low pressure of clean water. Ideal for emptying out pools and ponds where the water is clean and there's not going to be any damage to the pump. The dirty water pump is ideal for larger particle size up to 32 millimeters and possibly 38 millimeters and ideal for flood areas and storm damage areas where you want to get that water out quickly. There's lots of contamination in that water and you want to obviously keep your pump protected. If this product information was useful, like it, share it and you can subscribe to our channel.